Welcome back to the Dragon Den, my loyal Dragon Knights, King of Dragons 5000 is back with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men Anniversary Series, Wolverine. And so here we have Wolverine posed and out of the packaging, and before we have a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories. Wolverine does come with two very impressive head sculpts. As well as two pairs of hands, we have a pair of fists and a pair of fists with his claws out. Other than that, Wolverine doesn't come with any other accessories, so with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Wolverine. So here we have a closer look at Wolverine, and I'm really liking what Hasbro did with this figure. The jacket, flannel, and jeans come together really nicely, giving him a really impressive look. Taking a look at his head sculpt, this is a really good likeness to Hugh Jackman. I really do like the facial hair that he has on him, they did a really good job painting and sculpting his chops. And the hair sculpt here on Logan is actually done really nicely and I like the sculpt work and the paint that went into it. Taking a look at Wolverine, you can see that he is wearing his signature brown jacket which looks really good and Hasbro made an effort to add some wear on it. Underneath his jacket you can see that Wolverine is wearing a red flannel shirt and the flannel designs on it is actually quite impressive. The paintwork on the flannel is clean for the most part and underneath his flannel shirt you can see his undershirt. Turning the figure around you can see that Hasbro made an effort to continue that wear and tear on his jacket. It's not the best but it still looks good here. And we do have some lighter brown trim at the top sleeves and bottom of the jacket which is painted really nicely. The sculpted detail here on his sleeves is actually well done as we do get some designs in the leather and I especially like the fact that the stripes on his sleeves are actually sculpted and painted. And once again we do have Hasbro doing some wear on the jacket which is done pretty well. And on his hands you can see that Wolverine does have his claws out which surprisingly they're pretty straight here on this figure. And I love the silver plastic that Hasbro went with for this version of Wolverine. And you can see that Wolverine is wearing a black belt which looks really good and I especially love the belt buckle that he's wearing. The Native American belt buckle looks really good and I love the fact that they did paint it in gold. And of course Wolverine is wearing his signature blue jeans which they are this dark denim color and they do look really good. His jeans have this really nice sculpted detail to them giving it the appearance of actual denim. And on the front of his jeans, Hasbro actually did add some paint to make it look like there is some fade to his jeans. However, the paint is only done in the front and there's really no paint on the back of his jeans. And the Wolverine is wearing generic boots, unfortunately they don't have any texture or design to them. They're just done in brown plastic and I guess they do have a little bit of a soul to them but I would have loved to see a little more detail here. So overall, Hasbro did a really good job here with Wolverine and I especially love the details on his jacket and the wear and tear on it looks fairly good for Hasbro. So with the paint and details out of the way, let's compare Wolverine to our usual suspects. Here we have Wolverine posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and DC Multiverse Superman. Mattel's WWE Elite Series and Mesco's 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. The Lightning Collection White Range in the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally we do have Wolverine posed next to the Legacy Series Deadpool. So overall Wolverine will have a really nice scale and fits in perfectly with the rest of your Marvel movie figures. And because this is the Hugh Jackman version of Wolverine he is slightly taller than most of your other Wolverine figures. So with the comparisons out of the way let's have a look at Wolverine's articulation. Wolverine has a double ball joint in the head, butterfly joints in his shoulders, arms go out to the side and do a full 360, swivel at his biceps and double hinge elbows. He has a swivel hinge in the wrist. Wolverine does have an ab crunch as well as a waist swivel. His legs do kick forward, go back, out to the side and have a thigh swivel. He has a double bend in the knee. A swivel in the ankle, a hinge in his ankle, and forward facing pin for a rocker ankle. So overall Wolverine will have some surprising articulation and it's really not hindered despite the fact he's wearing this really bulky jacket. With everything said and done about the X-Men Anniversary Series Wolverine, let's get him posed for my final thoughts. 
I am a couple years late to the party reviewing this Wolverine, but I am really glad I got around to reviewing it finally. There's actually a lot of things to love about this Wolverine figure, and Hasbro actually did a really good job with the paint. Hasbro could have just easily have given us a brown jacket and with some little paint here and there and called it a day, but the fact they actually added some weathering to the jacket is a really nice touch. Add to it the sculpted detail here on the jacket is superb and I especially love all the little details you can see in the shoulders, elbows, and even in the zippers on the cuffs. Despite the fact that this figure is from X-Men Origins, I'm really liking what Hasbro did with it because it's a really good Wolverine figure. Now unfortunately at the time I'm making this video, the Anniversary Series X-Men figures are no longer in store so the only way you can track them down is through the secondhand market. If you are looking to add this version of Wolverine into your collection, he is still surprisingly affordable at only about $35. So if you're in the market for the traditional brown jacket Wolverine, you are going to have to go to sites like eBay just to track him down, but like I said, he's still pretty affordable. So with that being said, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and check out the rest of my Marvel Legend videos. If you're in a position to help out the Dragon Den, check out my Patreon where I have some exclusive content and early access videos. Check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, recent pickups, latest prints, and as always, ring that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, my loyal Dragonites coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000 reminding you to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim. I'll see you next time.